Hey, what's going on guys? So today we have another battle box. I'm uh, out here just because there's a little bit more light. Well, kind of. <laughs> Mostly sunlight. So uh, let's jump into this, see what we got going on. Today's uh, EDC, <laughs> which opens up, of course, as you take it out of your pocket, is the uh, Spyderco Paramilitary 2 with that uh, Emerson Wave. Very cool. Love it. So we use that to zip this tape. Not a very impressive uh, cutting test, but, you know, still necessary. So let's put that off to the side there in case we need it again. <clears throat> and jump into the box. So right on top here. <laughs> a Netflix original series, Southern Survival. Uh, it looks like July 3rd it's going to be premiered on Netflix. So Battle Box is going to Netflix. That is extremely, extremely exciting. So we have to all uh, stay tuned for that. All right, I'm putting that off to the side so I do not forget because I am definitely going to have uh, to tune in and see how the show is. That is really, really exciting news. So, all right. Um, oh, I already see something there that I like. All right, so here is the uh, the breakdown all right, for all the different uh, levels and all the gear, all right, prices as well. Put that off to the side. You guys know I do like a surprise. All right, so I do, uh, you know, look at that afterwards. There is some of this packaging here. All right, so the first thing I see is the SOG Snippet. All right, I actually have one of these. Christina kind of stole this from me. It was originally my tool. She fell in love with it. I have plenty of tools, so of course I just let her have it. Um, and she uses it all the time. This is part of her EDC. Um, and basically, I mean, the, the big, you know, kind of gimmick here is there's these guides. Okay, so as you're putting your fingers in here using it, you can kind of open up and release your grip a little bit because of those uh, guide bars, okay, that open up um, when the tool's in the, you know, scissor position here. But very cool little tool. Uh, I know I showed another video. I don't think I did like a specific review on it or anything, but it is uh, very cool. I'm not 100% sure if they're still making this. Uh, for some some reason, I feel like they stopped making it, but obviously they still have them in stock. I don't know. Could be wrong on that, but excellent little tool. So now I finally have one of my own, which is very nice. All right. So next, what is this? Nasal filter. NOSC. Uh, dust, pollen, allergy, and pollution. Okay. Some kind of nose piece here. Looking at the back. It's kind of like nose plugs. It's pretty cool. Or maybe the opposite. I have to read this again. All right. So easy to breathe, comfortable to breathe, safe to breathe. All right. So it opens up your nose. So it's, it's the opposite of a nose plug, isn't it? All right. So I had to actually just look at it closer. I mean, when I do these videos, I'm sitting obviously behind my camera and the tripod and I'm, I'm fairly far from what you guys see. This looks like it's two inches from my face and it's probably two feet from my face. Um, so looking at it closer, these are literally filters. Okay. So, you know, you wear them kind of like earplugs, but for your nostrils and all the air that's coming into your nose is actually being filtered. Okay. So it's pretty interesting. So if you do have allergies, uh, and you want to be outside, this could be something that could be very beneficial to you. Um, I feel like, you know, if I have something in my nose, it's going to tickle my nose, and I'm probably not going to like it, but I might give these a shot anyway. It, I mean, this is this is part of the reason why I like BattleBox so much, is because I get stuff like this that I would never in a million years buy, but I love trying. I love trying the, these different products and, and having these different experiences. And, you know, sometimes there's things that I never would have thought to get in a million years that I absolutely love. Sometimes there are things that I didn't get because I had no interest, and I still have no interest after trying them. Um, but it really is like 50-50, so who knows? Maybe I'll fall in love with nose filters. I'm going to say probably not, but uh, it's going to be an experience either way. So, yeah, let me know down in the comment section if you've ever even seen these. I've never even heard of them. Never heard of these in my entire life. But that seems, uh, seems definitely practical for some. All right, next up is the N95 mask, uh, and then looking for those nose plugs, I happen to see that this was a freebie, so they just threw it in there just because of everything that's going on, um, but, you know, obviously not uh, counting it towards the value of the box, but every single person watching this video, doesn't matter where you are in the entire world, you can use an N95 mask, right? So that was definitely a nice, uh, thoughtful addition for everyone. All right, so next up, I think I know what this is, just, just from these cases. It's always the same thing in here, 
and yes it is a little micro stove these are uh, super super handy I have a couple of these but you can never have too many okay this is basically like a topper for those um, propane canisters or now I forget what actual gas is in there but those little camp canisters so you put this on top you screw it down all right these always uh, open up They're kind of like fan open all right and then flip these over and this is basically what you'd set your your pot on whatever cooking vessel you have all right they have a little igniter here so you turn the gas on which you can use this valve here this uh, opens and closes all right so you turn the gas on a little bit use igniter it makes a spark right here then it turns to flame and then you have your little burner all right so this is your little uh, cook stove these are very very handy like i said you never have too many of these they come in a variety of different sizes and stuff this one's actually really nice and compact all right so if you happen to have these already it's nice to have a, a spare you can throw somewhere else maybe you don't normally have them whoops let me take this back off put this i think it was upright maybe i put this back in the box right but it is a very uh, compact tool so it definitely comes in handy I said so for some reason something happens to your other one it's going to have a little uh, backup there so like that all right next up it's big it's right there i know you guys want to see it it's a little uh sog uh camp axe this looks like a cool little throwing uh hatchet really um so yeah let's let's dig into this all right get our spider coat back out i hate plastic packaging can't stand the stuff just uh you know it is what it is we're all used to using this and opening things in this it's funny when people talk about knife stuff sometimes i'll reference this and they'll say like oh you know you must cut yourself you're into knives playing with knives all the time no i cut myself on stuff like this all right sharp metal edge i don't cut myself ripped plastic try to open something yeah i do i cut myself on paper and plastic way more than i do metal Doesn't that sound strange but that is the truth all right so interesting sheath i'm not sure oh that's weird i definitely didn't expect that <laughs> it's kind of cool i thought this whole thing was left up on velcro or something but no it just kind of fits over the logo Get a little protector here Get that in the box um i like it it's kind of cool like i said i mean i'll probably, probably end up using this as a, a throwing hatchet all right um but i like that you can choke way up on it all right you can do fine work all right make your little feather sticks and stuff or fire starting i mean you can actually use this as a uh you know a camp axe as it's suggesting although it looks kind of tactical and uh defensive you know it doesn't look more like something you'd want you know in a fight <laughs> than something you'd be using around the campfire um i don't know but it does look like a really nice design they have these big old uh torx bits all right that's keeping the head attached to the handle that's kind of cool just in case you know if the handle breaks you can replace it but i don't know the price on these things is usually doesn't make sense to replace it uh you're probably just better off buying a new one but i really like this this is cool and of course the back looks like you can use that as a uh, hammer you know pound your um tent stakes in and stuff do all kinds of things around the camp so i like that let's check out the sheath though See how this fits in here. I want to say that's probably probably goes like this. All right, so the top goes in. All right, this wraps around. That's too far, so let's go in more. No, that looks like what it is. I guess it stretches. All right, so let me do this behind the camera here. I'm still here. All right, yeah. So that looks like how it's supposed to be put on. What I'm doing is I'm, I'm pulling and stretching here first then wrapping around while there's pressure on it so it just securely goes over the logo um, I'm not sure how that would be like if you had this in your bag or even if you had it on the outside of your bag and you're walking through a trail and you know a twig touches it I guess it's always possible that it'll kind of pop off but it seems like it needs enough pressure in the right spot to actually unhook but even so this is this is kind of pressure fit on as it is so this is not easy to get off so even if the strap comes off it's not going to like fall and get lost or anything so yeah that's uh that's pretty cool i like it i might test this with uh some wood stuff um, but like i said i would probably use this as a uh 
little throwing hatchet. Just really, really cool looking. I do like the fact that they have this collar here. Okay, this is huge. If you don't, if you don't get out there and do a lot of fire chopping, firewood, and, and you know, uh, cutting stuff, um, when you let's say this box, which we're gonna look at next, let's say you go to chop a piece of wood and you miss that wood. Okay, and you hit the handle here. Okay, having a metal wrap is huge. It really, really protects that handle. All right, because especially with wood, not so much with these, you know, um, you know, plastic handles and, and these different uh, synthetic handles and stuff. But especially with wood, it just weakens it, and weakens it, eventually breaks. Um, so I just I like that. I like that design. So yeah, put that off to the side and see what's going on in this box. Gloco, Gloco, an LED lighting innovator. So this looks like a headlamp, 500 lumen USB rechargeable headlamp. Alright, pretty cool. Always love flashlight. I actually recently was looking at my headlamps because this uh, this winter was pretty mild. And I didn't get to use uh, my headlamps that much. I have that uh, that Olight um, Petrin, Petrin, I forget what it's called. That blue one. Um, and I used that actually in the uh, crawl space in my house recently. And I was just thinking, I, I didn't really use it that much. I was planning on doing a lot of uh, snow blowing, but you know, I'm, I'm glad I didn't. I'll say that. So anyway, let's see. Need a little plastic cover here. We don't need that. All right, so we have your, your buttons here. It's kind of hard to give you a, a demo. Ooh, we got flashing red. Obviously, it's nice and sunny out here, so it's hard to uh, show you what's going on with the flashlight. So, I mean, I would suggest. I mean, maybe I'll do another video on this in the future. Just because, again, I can't really show modes. You can't really see the flashlight uh, that much, and I'm not familiar with it as well. So, yeah, stay tuned. I'll probably do a separate video on that, just to make it easier. All right, let's put that off to the side here. It looks like we have two more things. All right, so what is this? This is a splint. Uh, Hero Healer Medical Response. Splint, 36-inch flat pack, field ready. That's interesting. Create a longi longitudinal... I don't know if I've ever said that word. Longitudinal uh, bends to give the splint strength and immobilize the limb. Reverse C-curve is stronger. Interesting. So this looks like a stiff piece of foam. Obviously, it's folded here. But you would unfold the whole thing and put it in, you know, kind of a curve, a C. Or U, depending on what angle you're looking at it. And then you have your splint. It's pretty interesting. Never seen anything like this. I like that it's nice and... You know, compact. Um, caution, non-sterile. So it's 36 inches by 4.25 inches. All right, cool. I'll have to uh, look into this a little further to make sure I know how to use it properly. Uh, but this will go away in the uh, first aid kit. That could definitely come in handy one day. Hopefully not. Like everything first aid, you, you pack all these things and you hope to never use them. But if you do need to use them, not only is it important to have it, but also how to use it. I know tons of people. I talk to them all the time. People who are in the prepping mindset. And uh, they'll be talking about something specific, and I'll be like, oh, yeah, I haven't tried that yet. I have to practice with it. Like, yeah, me neither. And, you know, I kind of remind them, like, if something happened, like, right now, while we're talking, how are you going to use that, that splint? How are you going to use, you know, your tourniquet? Because I know guys that have these tourniquets, too, like the cat tourniquets, and they really don't know how to use them. So it is super important uh, to not only have this gear in an emergency, but more importantly, how to use it. Because you can actually make situations worse by you know misusing different types of medical gear so just something to keep in mind just like with guns you want to go out and practice with them just like with knives if you want to you know have a hatchet or something like that you don't just for the first time go swinging at things you have to learn a little bit of safety first you have to learn how to use it properly okay so it can be effective and like i said most importantly safe so yeah pretty cool though i like that medical gear is uh, definitely worth its weight in gold because you never know one day if something happens and I happen to need a splint and I have one That's that's fantastic So the last thing is the uh, knife of the month B&B &B knives. All right buck and bear I'm pretty sure is B&B &B. and The unveiling Ooh, looks like a little frame lock here Pretty interesting all right, sorry about that. I have, I don't know if you can hear right now in the background, those bird noises. There's a, uh, a nest, which eventually I'll do a video on, and the little baby's making tons of noise because uh, Mama Bird came back with some food. 
So now they're actually more tame. All right, so anyway, uh, they were just going nuts there for a second. So yeah, this is a, a buck and bear um, frame lock, all right, flipper design. And uh, this has a sandwiched uh, Damascus blade. So hopefully you guys can see that with the sun. Very, very cool design in there. I like that quite a bit. All right, overall pretty comfortable. Right, there's also the uh, opening slot in here, so you don't have to use the uh, the flipper. Although it's a little bit harder because of the uh, the detent. In fact, can't I can't easily open it with uh, one hand. It looks like it looks like nothing, right? I'm just popping that, but just because of the angle, I just can't get the meat of my thumb in there enough. Let me try both fingers. There we go. All right, if I use my middle finger and thumb, I get that to pop open. Actually to get used to it you have to this is one of those knives that takes a little bit of practice so if you happen to be somewhere and you don't want to flip it out all right and you want to open it slowly just use your middle finger and thumb so once you pop that detent it's fine then you can slowly open it but yeah pretty comfortable i like it simple little uh pocket clip on there i just love that blade hopefully you can see on the top that center layer let's see real quick on the paperwork if it says what the steel is this is damascus it's a VG-10 Damascus. All right, cool. So it's got the Damascus, you know, bread, let's just say, and a VG-10 core, which is your uh, your meat and cheese or your peanut butter and jelly, whatever floats your boat there. So yeah, really cool. I like it. I like it a lot. So awesome uh, battle box. A lot of useful gear here. And I have to say, I'm really surprised by this and extremely excited. Southern Survival coming to Netflix July 3rd. All right, if you have Netflix, check it out. Uh, if you're one of three people who use Netflix but don't pay for it, uh, thank your family and friends for, <laughs> for giving you their login information. Because you know, you know how that is. But uh, yeah, very, very cool. So there you go. That's the Battle Box this month. Hopefully you guys have a wonderful day. And I will see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.